Hello, okay, so this video is going to be about self-motivation and self-motivation is important for, you know, going to school, you know, getting your goals done, whatever they are, whether they're diet or exercise or paying off bills or whatever they may be. Um, so the first part is to define your goals. What are your goals? So, you know, what is it that you want to get done? You know, write down because that way it'll help you to, you know, you'll be able to come back to it later when you're thinking about, okay, what are my goals? Um, it's good to refresh that in your mind. Um, also write down why. Why are those goals important to you? Um, like if it's diet, uh, is it for health uh, or to look good for many people? Um, the thing is, like, at least with diet, uh, I know it's important to, you know, partly care about your health uh, in the long term in order to keep that weight off. Um, the health has got to be important because, I mean, in the short run, yeah, you can diet and get the weight down um, for health, you know, for, I mean, for, like, reasons to look good, but, like, in the long term, you know, that won't. To keep it off, it won't really work. I mean, for a lot of people, it won't at least. So, um, and so write down the reason you want to, like, if it's to go to school for something, write down why. What is it that you want to, you know, accomplish by that? Uh, you know, for a better job or, um, you know, and the skills, of course, and, you know, if it's for a better job or more money, you know, write that down. And um, also, uh, you know, you're going to want to maybe have reminders of your goal, like around you, things that you see, like visibly, such as like pictures. And, you know, you might want to have a note card. Maybe you want to uh, remind yourself. Um, that will keep you motivated. Um, especially like when it gets hard, you're going to need good reasons why you want to, you know, accomplish this goal. Why is it so important to you? What's going to keep you like going when it gets hard? Like I know for uh, diet or like exercise, I know a lot of people at first, it's just like a new year's resolution to exercise and eat healthy and diet and all this stuff. But there's a large percentage by like six months that are not working out because they've lost the motivation to do that. And, um, you know, there's got to be something that motivates them enough to keep going because, you know, there's going to be days that they're, you know, they don't feel like working out. But I know for that, that's like, you got to kind of make yourself sometimes like work out. I mean, as long as there's not, you know, some like health limitations like because if there are then you definitely I mean you want quality of life you know that's the reason that many people work out um, you know summed up reason at least but um, if you work out when you're injured or your health isn't so good say if your heart is weak you might not want to be working out because um, it might cause bigger problems, uh, more damage to, say, your heart or whatever the injury is. Um, so be careful with that. Um, yeah, but, or you want to be prepared, you know, like, such as, you know, you might want to have meals uh, ready. You might think ahead uh, how you're going to handle, like, if you don't have the food with you when you're at class or school and you get hungry, you're going to be more tempted to eat those foods that you're not supposed to be eating, um, you know, at those times than, you know, like if you're at home, sometimes it makes it easier as long as the temptation of, you know, the bad foods are not right in front of you or, you know, that you're not watching commercials that are with, uh, you know, uh, the tempting looking ads for food. So um, another thing is to avoid walking past fast vending machines or, you know, watching too ma many of those commercials, um, or at least muting them, you know, or, you know, paying attention to something else, thinking about something else, thinking about why you don't want to be eating that food, um, that's for diet. Uh, if it's uh, for school, I've found that 
like I have to go to the library if it's like some subject that I'm not really uh, into because sometimes there's classes that I have to take that I um, it's not maybe maybe it's not a natural skill or you know maybe it's just something that uh, isn't so exciting we'll say so uh, that's how to do that um, if it's getting in shape sometimes it's good to have a, a picture of somebody who you know you you would sort of like to look like but you got to realize that you're not going to look exactly like anybody else and same with all your goals is that the truth is you're you you have to it's kind of like competing against yourself you can't can it it's going to be uh harder if you compete against other people sometimes sometimes it works for people to compete against other people but um you know you got to accept yourself and what you're capable of doing you know sometimes you're more capable of doing things than other people so um uh, another very important thing about your goals is that you're going to need to make sure that they're realistic they need to be realistic goals because if they're not then you're going to be disappointed uh with you know being able to do it um you know you're not going to be able to maybe um another thing so you might want to have a a picture or pictures around you or things that remind you of your goal have maybe a note card look at it uh, you know how many times you need to do it whether it's once a day or a couple times a day or a couple times a week um, to remind yourself of why you're going towards that goal and uh, I'm looking at my paper that I wrote down some things um, you know Never quit if you experience a setback or frustration um, because there's going to be, you know, usually, you know, you have a goal for a reason, you know, it maybe it's something that's kind of harder to do sometimes and that's why maybe if it's a long-term goal um, instead of just a short-term goal, you know, it's going to be, there's going to be some setbacks or, you know, it's going to get hard at some point and you got to think of like, what, what are you going to do when it gets hard? Uh, you have a plan then you're going to be more able to handle uh, those times you're going to be able to remind yourself why the goal is so important sometimes you have to take some time off from the goals like say if you get sick you can't exercise or or uh, or you can't go to school or something but do the best you can when you're able to and you'll get towards that goal um, uh, also think about what you'll do if certain setbacks like if you know certain setbacks are bound to happen think of what are you going to do when you know that happens or those things happen or you know just think of you know ways to get around it if you're able to but don't let yourself be afraid or paralyzed like oh no i won't be able to do this goal because it's going to be raining outside i won't be able to jog you know like you know if you go to a gym you can do that inside or if you're walking in a mall, you can do that inside, even if it's raining, you know. So you got to be careful not to let yourself, you know, uh, make excuses. Another, uh, okay, so the last thing that I would say is that with a goal, there needs to be, you know, sometimes small steps that you have to think of, um, you know, that lead to that goal, like, you know, getting accomplished. So, um, you know, and when it's a big goal, then you're going to definitely need those small steps um, that it'll take up to the, the goal. And um, that's all I'm going to say for now. But, you know, whatever goals you make, um, make sure that you, you know, they, that they're realistic goals, you know, have steps that lead up to those goals. Make sure you know why you're doing that goal. And good luck. Bye.